All right, guys, a little bit of a change of plans. I was digging out in that hole for a couple days now. Just didn't, uh, I mean, had to dig down so deep. The dirt was too hard. The jackhammer, it was really heavy to hold and kind of tunnel up under the concrete, which is what I needed to do because that beam got so low. So I decided to change plans and I'm actually going to go through the top here. So I kind of skipped a step, at least showing you a step. But um, what I've done here is use this drill here. It's the DeWalt hammer drill. This is not a normal drill. It's not you, you, the one you just pick up to do your daily projects. That thing right there is a beast. Um, I could probably do about 10 to 15 holes and I had to stop and let the drill cool off. So what I, what I did is I did that over the past couple days or the past day as I, as I let my body recover from all the digging that I did outside. Um, so it kind of worked out perfectly. I just come in here every couple hours and do a set of holes and then recharge the battery, let the drill cool off and then come back and do a, another set. And that allowed me to let my body rest for a little bit too, to prepare for today. So today what I'm going to do is I got the jackhammer. I'm going to start taking out the concrete. Always have your hearing, eyes, mask, gloves. This makes a lot of dust. And this thing is really loud, so protect yourself.
noticed I still got the mask on. You probably can't see it on camera, but there's still a lot of dust floating around in here. So this section here, um, this won't be, if you're going to do this at home, this will be different, a little bit different than your situation because I had already torn up pieces of this section. So I knew right here that the concrete would probably break out easier because it wasn't the original concrete. It was the stuff I poured in after I added that drain line over there. So this part right here up until about, you know, the first foot or so broke out easily. You could see the, the top inch and a half or so. That's what I just finished doing. Uh, I knew that would come out easily because again, that was the, uh, this whole floor here was sunk down an inch and a half on the original house. So I poured in uh, concrete to bring it up to the grade level. So I knew that would come out easy. So now I'm down to the original concrete, which is going to be a little bit tougher. So I'm going to take a little break here and then uh, see if I can work over from this spot here that I got all the way through and work all the way over slowly chipping away. Okay.
Okay, I've got the concrete all busted out. You just saw I cut the rebar. I um, just cut it probably about half an inch from the edge of the concrete. You can see some of those stubs right there on the right hand side. Uh, the long one I just bent up so it's out of the way and when I'm done I can bend it back down. When I go to pour concrete back in here I'll show you how to um, put in some rebar to get some reinforcement. I don't think it will be as good as when the original foundation was poured but next best thing. Next step is just to dig down to expose the pipe. As you can see the pipe is right here and it runs this way so I'm pretty good to dig this hole without worrying about hitting the pipe um, and actually in this case it's really not a big deal anyway because I'm taking the pipe out it's all as far as I as I know it's all corroded out so the whole section is going to be uh, replaced but uh, I mean if you want if your pipe you're not sure about and you want to be careful uh, just uh, be careful when you're getting down deeper how how far be, be paying attention to how far down you are so you don't hit that pipe and break it if you're trying to salvage it um, but yeah you can see I I put my hole off to the side as well so that I wouldn't dig straight down right on top of the pipe I'm just gonna use a shovel probably gonna use the jackhammer to break up and loosen the dirt as well uh, but this is just gonna be a slow tedious process I won't show it I'll just uh, uh, I'll catch back up with you guys when it's all dug out 